Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Welcome to another unboxing video. In today's video, we're gonna be unboxing the Astro A20. I know you guys are probably like, bro, just get straight to it. We wanna know about it, what's going on with it? But I have to give you guys some details before I get into that. So first of all, this is the box. Yeah, that's just about it. But what I wanna let you guys know is this is the big brother to the A10. I know a lot of people remember my A10 review video because all I screamed throughout the whole video was, it's lit. But what you guys don't remember is that this thing, yes, this is the A10, is fully durable. You won't get the same durability with the A20 headset. But what you will get is you will get wireless connectivity, free range and you will be able to move around do whatever you want without having to be bombarded with a wire plugged into your controller that means if you get up to walk away with your headset on your head to go do something you won't worry about pulling your controller off the table dragging it across the floor with you this is a completely wireless headset so let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy all right, guys, now that we have the A20 box on the table, let's go ahead and pop it open, man. I got my handy-dandy knife here. Not sure how much I'll need it, but just want to pop it open for no reason. Now, you have to open the box from the bottom, so what you should do is just turn it on its back, and as you guys can see right here, it's just one little slit. All right, so now that the bottom is open, I'm going to go ahead and put the knife down, bruh. Don't want to cut nobody. Now, you flip it back on its front, and then you just pull out the contents. Now, of course, you know, Astro is always coming with that. Please stop. Make sure you follow the instructions below. <laughs> but inside of the box, it's a lot of plastic, as always. I mean, these companies, man, they just love to put stuff in plastic. I don't know why. I mean, like, plastic, like, rules the world, bro, or something. All right, guys, now that I have the A20 out of the box, man, just taking a quick look at it, man. Why not? Just just got to take a quick look at it. As you guys can see, you can make the headset bigger depending on if your head is humongous or not, you know what I'm saying? So it, it works for all sizes, all ages. Um, Quick comparison, man. This right here is my A10 headset, and this is the A20 guys right here in my hand. Now, as far as comparison goes, they look a lot similar, but they have a different headband. And um, everybody remembers the A10 is very durable. You can crack, break, spin, flip this whole thing. Not so much for the A20. The A20 maxes out about right there. So you, it, it kind of reminds me of the A40 and A50 headset. Now, as far as the A50 goes, it reminds me because it's totally wireless. All right, this is the base station. All right, this thing is pretty small, man. You have your switch right here for PC and PS4 mode. You have your USB port, which is to charge it, your optical in, and your USB. Now, this little USB port right here is for it to actually be powered. This one right here is to charge the headset. This thing comes with three total cords. It comes with an optical cord for the optical in and out, and it comes with two USB cords wrapped in plastic. I mean, what, bro, this plastic is getting out of hand. But so basically the two USB cords are exactly the same. They're both micro USBs. So it's not really too many connections. And I guess now it's time to set this bad boy up on my PlayStation 4. Let's get it. All right, guys, what you are currently looking at is my A50 base station with my A50 headset. This is the other wireless headset I was telling you guys about. This right here is my PlayStation 4 Pro. Now, what you are looking at is the A20 setup. I do not have to use this USB cord right here since I already have my A50 base station plugged up. And I won't have to use the optical cable which came with this, but you will. So, let me go ahead and plug this stuff up.
All right, guys, now that I have everything set up, I just wanted to do a on the head test, I guess you could say. Um, I got a body. Uh, I don't know how this is going to work, but if you have hair, then I pray for you. But, I mean, to all my body guys out there, it's our time, bruh. So, just going to go ahead and put the headset on real fast, man, show you what the headset looks like on head. Um, as far as making it as tight as possible, um, let's see. All right, so this is the tightest setting. I mean, I know I look like Wolverine now. As you guys can see, um, this is what the headset mic thing would look like. Let me go ahead and fit it to my size. Um, now, this is the setting with it all the way down. Um, as you guys can see, it starts to come like to my neck. Uh, this is where my ear is and this is where it's meeting. So I'm just gonna make it a little tighter. Alright, so this is what it would look like if I didn't have a hat on my head, if I did all my face cams with my body. There's a slight problem with trying to do a mic test with a wireless gaming headset. You have to have certain wires and tools and everything like that in order to capture audio from your PlayStation from your actual headset. But what I'm actually going to do today is on the screen behind me is my PlayStation 4 showing you the reverb of the audio coming from the mic. Now, as far as the mic goes, it actually sounds pretty good. I thought it was going to be, you know, a little bit too overbearing like the A10 was as far as audio. You know, if you have it so close to your mouth that you can see it spiking. No, that's not the case with the Bluetooth headset, I'm guessing. So the wireless headset, as far as audio, sounds good to me. What I could do is I could actually put the headphones on top of my camera mic, just to show you guys how the audio reverb sounds, and then maybe you can get a gist of how it sounds from there. Now, I actually have the headset maxed out, so I'm actually going to do that. Why not? Why not mic test it like that? You want to do it like that? Let's do it. All right. All right. I know I'm I know invading I'm your, your space. space. I know I'm, I know pretty, I'm pretty close. Pretty close. But, but what your what life your like. like. <laughs> nah, guys, guys, just guys, showing just you how the audio, audio reverb sounds. sounds. I'm, sorry, I'm sorry I'm so I'm close, so but this is the this best is the way, way I can give I can you guys, you guys a, mic a mic test. test. Now, I don't now, want, I want to get my LL, LL, LL on by I keep licking my lips because I don't know what I look like this close. But let's go ahead and hop into the end of this video. All right, now that we are at the end of the video, I can give you guys my grade, my review, everything like that. So as far as audio goes coming from the headset, it sounds pretty good because I can switch between voice and audio like my A50 and as far as like the mic goes, I think this mic might be better than the A50. I'm not going to sit up here and pipe it up, I, but I think it might be better than the A50 because when I'm listening to the reverb from my A50, it sounds completely different than my A20. Now, I'm not sure about all the intricate builds of how the mic was built, what materials, what sound it uses, what pitch, all that. I'm not, I'm not into all that. What I can tell you guys is that the audio sounds really good coming out of this and it's a smaller headset. It's not as overbearing. All in all, do I like the headset? Yes. Will I be using a headset over my 850? Probably not. If you guys want to check this headset out, like I said, the link is inside the description. I hope you guys like the unboxing slash review. I hope I didn't keep you guys here too long, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys drop a like. The only way this video will get seen is if you guys show your support. And um, also, it's lit! All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, and you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes. And this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.